Welcome to this video, dates and period using static and dynamic way in Power BI. So dates and period returns a table that contains a column of dates that begins with the specified start date and continues for the specified number of types of date intervals. So this function is mainly used as a filter function for the calculate. It is used as a filter function for calculate function as an expression by standard date intervals such as days, months, quarters, or years. So the expression is like this, date and period, dates, and the start date, number of intervals, and interval. Usually the use case will be the finding the last three months. So the start date will be the function called last or max of the date, and the number of intervals will be minus three. Minus three or minus two or minus three. interval will be month. So in two ways you can find the dates and period. One way we are going to use a static way, which using this uh, exact function we are going to do the static way. And the next way is using what if parameter that will be the dynamic way where we will be able to choose this number of intervals dynamically. So you can create a what if variable for your reports, interact with the variable as a slicer and visualize and qualify different key values in your reports. So we will see a, an example with regarding both the static and dynamic. Here we are having a table called calendar. We are having a table called sales details and it is being related using order date. So we'll select a table visual from here and we will select the date. We need only year and month. Then we will get the total quantity. So it got filtered in the table and these are the total quantities we got. And we are going to find the total value of the last three months. That means these three months, 2020 April to 2020 June. We are going to find the two dates and period function. So for that, we are going to calculate this new measure. You can create the measure as dates in period static. We need to use the calculate function and you have to get the sum of the quantity. Then we are going to use the dates in period function. And here we need first argument is the dates. So you can do the calendar date. Second argument is the start date. So we are going to get the last three values. So we will get this last value. Last value to get is you need to write the function of max or last date. Here we will do the function max, maximum of the calendar date. So we will get the last date. And then we need to go back to two months. So already we have one month and we need to go back to two months. So we are going to give us minus three. And the interval we need is month. So with like this, we are going to get the total sum of all these three months. So we'll take a card chart and we will place this measure in the chart. And it calculated the last three months value and it has given the result as 6649. If you add these three values, you are going to get this 6649. So this is static because only we can view these three months because we have already written in the measure that we have only three months. Now we are going to pass the, a dynamic value in this. So we can use past three, past 12 months or past 20 months, whatever. It is. So we are going to do that next. So first we are going to select the modeling and this new parameter that is a what if parameter. So in this what if parameter, we are going to pass, this is the month parameter because we have to, through this parameter, we are going to get the months dynamically. M month, month dynamic, we are going to give it as, and we are, have the minimum of zero and maximum, we will give it as 12. One by one, you can increase it. Default, we will give it as three because in this problem, we have given three. So here it's a default, we will give it as three. That means, okay, first itself, when you run this program, when you select this, select this page, okay, the three will be the default and you will get this value. You have to get this value. You can click OK. It will create a slicer to this page. Yes, we got the slicer. You can pick the slicer here. So this slicer, what it will do is that if you move the slicer, it will change the month. So this will be the value of month. So till 12, we can. Now we need to write a function. You need to write a measure. We can write a similar measure. Same thing which we have given here. 
but only difference is that we need to pass this value as the dynamic for intervals. So we'll give it as date in period dynamic equals to calculate sum of quantity and we can use the dates in period and here we need to give the calendar date first and next one is the start date for this measure we have used max now we will give now we can use last date both serves the same and we can use as calendar date and now you have to give the number of intervals number of intervals how we are going to give is so as soon as you create this what if parameter we got a table automatically created the table is month dynamic the exact name we have given to the parameter in this month dynamic how they automatically created month dynamic value and month dynamic you need to get this month dynamic value into this function because this month dynamic value contains this value of 1 to 12 so we can give here the interval as month dynamic value we have to get the value and then the month but here another thing we need to do is that here we are not going to give month dynamic as such as like that because we have to get the subtraction of months so we can give it as minus month dynamic value and month so we got the function ready now we will select a card we can select this card and we have can we are having the measure here you can select the measure here it is showing blank because here if you see the month dynamic value is zero just give it as one this will change so first last month we got 458 next will be 3092 plus 458 it will come so if you get two months it will be 3550 and if you go to three months it will show the exact value which we got using static method. So like this, you can go and get all the numbers of months dynamically using this dynamic function. This is the advantage for the user because the user can get the value dynamically. And this one is stack only whatever we are giving that will be shown. To so this is a different ways to get the date in period static. Hope this will help you get good insights regarding dates and period function. Thank you. Have a nice day.